And to some extent, uh, Mr. Trudeau's response to, 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 to the rally has played into their hands. Uh, Mr. Trudeau has basically dismissed them as a fringe element. As convoys of truckers prepare to meet in Ottawa this weekend, political scientists warn that dismissing the entire group as extremists is a dangerous game. This is a really uh, a coming together of deep frustration with the way the whole COVID situation has been approached. Shaldian Mensa at McEwen University says while the core concern is with a vaccine mandate for truckers crossing the U.S.-Canada border, the movement has expanded to include a wide range of grievances with the Trudeau government and the overall response to the pandemic. A new Maru opinion poll finds just one in three Canadians fully support allowing unvaccinated truckers to cross the border without difficulty to deliver essential goods, while 72% think the border should be closed to truckers unless they're vaccinated or can show a negative COVID test. A list of demands from the Freedom Convoy 2022 Facebook page calls for an end to all vaccine mandates, any kind of vaccine contact tracing and vaccine passports. But another group, Canada Unity, has released its own memorandum of understanding that it's asking Canadians to sign, calling on the Senate and Governor General to waive all vaccine mandates, COVID fines, and restore employees terminated by vaccine mandates. This is not a monolithic group that's in this convoy. They all have different interests. They all have different motivations. Some are legitimate grievances. Um, some are on the crazy spectrum. But this memorandum is on the crazy spectrum and it diminishes the power of the protest. Dwayne Brad at Mount Royal University says the MOU doesn't make any sense. He adds that many of the mandates don't fall under federal jurisdiction and the trucker vaccine mandate isn't even something Canada can waive on its own. Even if Trudeau eliminated those today, it wouldn't change anything because the United States still has it. So you still wouldn't be able to travel back and forth. Mensa sees it slightly differently. Ottawa is a focal point for frustration with a political class that many feel have abandoned them, and the choice to protest in the capital isn't to do with pragmatic considerations, but a visible rejection of authority. It's not simply that they don't understand government. It's simply that they, look, all governments in totality have uh, uh, really stepped on our toes here, stepped on our rights. And we want to express this uh, in, 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 in this way. However, Mensa and Brad agree that whatever happens when the truckers arrive on Saturday, they're unlikely to win concessions from the federal government, leading the residents of the Ottawa Valley to wonder what will come next. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.